The tree app is a tool that helps us to basically have a detailed information about all individual trees by GPSing every location of tree and having the information about the species or the hollow bearing or the significant tree or not. Having all this sweet information as one special database basically help us to manage and reduce the impact of project on trees as much as possible. While we're doing the project, summing back is inevitable, but as much as we can, we try to um, have at least impact. The current bridge was opened in 1878. It served the community really well over the past hundred years, but it, it's reached capacity now and a new bridge is required. The new bridge that we will be constructing will allow for A double and B triple configurations at high mass limits. The project expects to employ several hundred people, which we're hoping that many locals will find employment and the local community will benefit from the flow and effects of having those people in town. We've established an environmental reference group, so they're made up of local community members as well as government organisation representatives. And they're having some key input into the project in terms of how we undertake the environmental management, but also advise us on the timber reuse and, and opportunities to build that into the community. I read a report that said there were squirrel gliders here at Vic Park, and I've been able to gather information that uh, Vic Roads has paid for from consultants and a whole lot of research information that tells me about squirrel gliders. We'll have our own research information when this project is finished. We'll know about every little glider in this area and we'll know every box, but we'll also know every tree hollow because of the bridge. This is just one of many projects in Northern Region which is going to increase road safety and connect communities.